gorgeous voice of bee. This is Boy Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy magic Monday to all of you guys. Uh, needless to say, I'm very excited to be here as every single Monday. But today I'm extra excited because, oh my gosh, if you see the mess I have in here, which is, let me see if I can record it for you. But I'm really excited because what I have for you today has been super popular on demand, you guys want me to share this with you. Since last week that I posted this, you guys have been requesting and requesting and requesting like nonstop. Can you please show the recipe? What is the recipe? Can you show us how to do it? And yes, which is today I'm going to share with you how to make al colado. The one that I like and the one that pertains to my roots. It's a Puerto Rican recipe, or at least the basic of this recipe is 100% Puerto Rican. So yeah, we're going to be making the very popular al colado. It is also known as bay rum. A mí me gusta decirle al colado. I'm going to call it al colado. That's how I know it. And this is the name that I grew up with. That's the name that I know. All right. Now, which is, we're going to be using alcohol in here. So this is not a drink. This is not for you to drink. This is not a medicine in any way, shape or form that you're going to ingest for absolutely anything in any way. This is for external use only. I'm going to share with you some of the properties of the ingredients that we're going to be using over here here and how you can also make this mejunje. Mejunje is a very common word in Puerto Rico. We call things, mixes that we make mejunje. And the etymology of the word mejunje, which I'm going to put here in the screen, comes from the Arab mamsug, which means something that is mixed. There you go. That is your Puerto Rican word of the day, mejunje. I'm going to put it here with the description of the word so you know when white ravens say puerto rican words that you have no idea what they means and now you know what mejunje means so what is alcolado Alcolado is a mix of different medicinal plants that grow uh, wild in Puerto Rico. But the most important ingredient of alcolado is the leaf of a plant that is called malagueta. This is a tree that is family to pepper, and family to the guava tree, and grows wild in Puerto Rico. And the origin of this tree of malagueta is the Caribbean. I'm talking about Cuba, Puerto Rico. Jamaica, the Antilles, and some of the south of Mexico, and also some parts of Central America. Now, over here where I live in Virginia, I do not have that tree, sadly. But lucky for you and lucky for me, this tree does have a seed. And if you have ever eaten pumpkin pie or anything pumpkin from the fall season, you probably know about this spice. And we, of course, are talking about all spice. So when you you are making alcolado, which is all spice, is going to be the most important ingredient. If you do not have all spice, you don't have alcolado. You don't have bay rum. That's not it. Maybe something else, just as great, but not the original and typical alcolado. Where are my all spice? They are right here. I personally love Old Spice. I think they're extremely aromatic. I use it a lot in a lot of my magical things, okay, which is uh, this is one of my go-to ingredients. I found it extremely magical. There's a few spices that I found extremely magical. Old Spice one, star anise is another one, cloves are another one, and I have a few, okay. I have some Old Spice already here, very finely grind. Like I said, which is, I use it for a lot of stuff, but this is going to be the main ingredient, okay? Old Spice. You have to have Old Spice. Lucky for you and me, this is something that you can find in the supermarket very easy. I'm going to tell you a little bit of the incredible medicinal uses that Old Spice has. It is an anti-inflammatory. It is an antiseptic and an antifungal and will get rid of any yeast infections that sometimes you get on the skin, in the folds of your skin, between your toes. You can definitely use this for that. It is good for all aches and pains. And I'm telling you this because my grandma used to use it and my dad used to use it. These are part of the medicinal properties of malagueta leaves or allspice. 
So you can Google it, you can do your own research and come out with your own conclusions. I am telling you that this is something that has been used for over a hundred years in Puerto Rico and it's great. So another one of the great medicinal properties of this plant is that it's an analgesic. It's a pain killer. My grandmother in my family, there's been always a migraine. My grandma, my dad, I have migraines. And my grandma used it for her migraines. My dad used it for his migraines. And I also use it for my headaches. I'm going to tell you in a little while how you can also use it. It is great for muscle cramps. It is great for when you have arthritis and your joints are hurting it is great for anything for anything which is it is great in Puerto Rico we used to use it for mosquito bites it's just such a well-being type of water whenever you're feeling down uh, not only physically but also mentally because the scent and the smell of all these ingredients really make you feel better I think it's incredible another ingredient that my recipe has is bay leaves bay laurel that is something that you can also find in the supermarket I have so many which is And bay leaves are also used to treat arthritis, headaches, fungal diseases. So this is another great add-on into this alcoholado. Also, bay leaves, when you grind them, they smell very... I can't for. I don't know if there are linked in some way, but they do smell like camphor. Another thing that I'm going to add into my alcoholado is cardamom. And I love cardamom scent. I love how cardamom tastes. Love it. And I also love the smell of cardamom. So you can use either the green seeds of cardamom or you can use the little ones. They almost look like green of paradise. These are really crunchy, more so than the green ones, but you can use these ones as well, whichever you prefer. I tend to think that this one smells a little bit stronger than the green ones, but you can use whichever, okay? Cardamom is great for inflammation, which is one of the great things that cardamom helps you with. Another thing that is very important in the mix that I make is eucalyptus. We all know about eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is good for anything that has to do with your breathing, your chest, anything that has to do with breathing. Eucalyptus is the one that is going to assist you with. You can address bronchitis when you have stuffy nose. And it also helps with pain and inflammation. So as you can tell, all of the plants that we are adding to this alcoholado are going to be very into reducing pain and reducing inflammation. This is why so many people use it, particularly for arthritis and also for migraine. Love it. Another thing that I'm going to be using in this particular recipe is going to be cloves. Cloves are incredible for pain. So much so that if you ever have toothache, for example, you can chew some cloves and also Old Spice. Whenever you have like a toothache, you can chew a clove and you can mix it with an Old Spice and you can chew it because it's an analgesic and it will help you with the pain. Now, the last thing that I'm going to add when it comes to ingredients, the dry ingredients, is going to be camphor. You can put four little tablets of camphor in your mix, or which is you can use essential oils. Note, which is, it is very important that you do your research when it comes to all these ingredients. If you're going to be using this yourself, please make sure that before you use it, you test somewhere in your skin to make sure that your skin is not too sensitive for any of these ingredients. Also, camphor could be extremely harmful for your pets. So make sure that you don't leave this in the floor or you don't have this. Even pets should not be breathing camphor. Food for thought, which is make sure that you are attentive and you're aware of all that, okay? Now, the liquid that I'm going to be using for my alcoholado is going to be rum. This rum is called Rum Donku. That bottle is $25, which is, you do not have to use it, okay? If you just want to use any dark rum, just make sure it's from the Caribbean, you know? Most rums should be from the Caribbean, but other people make rums. You don't have to use rum. As a matter of fact, if you just want to use uh, isopropyl alcohol, 70%, that's the one that you should be using. And I tell you more, which is, I use all this rum 
in my recipe and it, there was just a little bit what was left after me straining all this because the herbs are going to absorb a lot of this alcohol so i suggest for you to get some 70 percent isopropyl alcohol so you can add to your bottle so if you want to dilute it a little bit more you can use isopropyl alcohol i'm going to show you now how to make it because i'm going to make another batch for myself but, but there's are things that i want to tell you always test the smell if you want more smell of something then work with your ingredients i'm going to tell you how much i put of everything food for thought there's different ways in which you can grind your ingredients obviously you can grind your ingredients with your mortar and your pestle okay that's going to take you forever or you can of course use your coffee grinder they're easy especially if you don't make a lot this is this is a great way for you to grind your herbs this is my baby. I grind a lot of stuff because I use a lot of powder ingredients in my recipes for the oils that you guys purchase. So this is the one that I purchased. I really love it. This one is in Amazon. This is more industrial, but this will pulverize everything. Now remember that the more powdery than your ingredients are, the more time is going to take for you to strain it and the more times you're gonna have to strain it, okay? So it's food for thought. So try to leave your ingredients as coarse as possible, but at the same time, so make sure that they're broken up. I'm gonna show you how mine look. And uh, let me tell you a little bit now about the alcoholado. Alcoholado Superior 70. This was made in the town of Arecibo, Puerto Rico on February 2nd, a day after my birthday, 1911. And since 1911, we've been using this in Puerto Rico. This Alcolado Superior 70 is still the number one Alcolado sold in the island at this time, right? It's kind of like our Florida water. Yeah, we cannot live without alcoholado. Whenever you go to abuelito's house, like grandmas and grandpas, it's going to smell like alcoholado. And it's funny because when you're little, you take all that for granted and you go and you visit your grandma, your grandpa, and it's like, oh my God, you smell like alcoholado so much. And then you learn to cherish these smells and then you learn to understand how beautiful these aromas are and how magical and curative they are. I have right now this one that I found somewhere here. I think, or I, no, I think I brought this one from Puerto Rico. That says, hecho en Puerto Rico. Made in Puerto Rico. This one is called Alcolado La Milagrosa. And I don't like it much because I think this one has some spearmint. And smells a little bit more like spearmint. So I like Alcolado Superior 70, which is what I try to make with the Alcolado that I'm sharing here with you today. Some people in Puerto Rico, they add rue. Some other people add rosemary. And a lot of people in Puerto Rico, it's another kind of like main ingredient. I didn't use it because that's not what I wanted, but they put menthol, menthol or mint. And they put other things. I mean, you can put whatever you want as long as your Alcolado has malayeta or allspice. It's up to you what else you want to add to it, but it's very important that it has allspice. If it doesn't have allspice, you're missing out, number one, and number two is not alcoholado. Okay, let's just make that very <laughs> clear, okay? Which is some other folk, I don't know if it's true or not, but they used to say, and I heard around, <laughs> that pirates used to use this as perfume. That's some of the folk behind it. I can totally see it. I mean, I know we had it in Puerto Rico in 1911, but Bay Room has been very popular <laughs> in Jamaica for way before that. So yes, I come from the Caribbean. We had pirates in the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, in Puerto Rico, we have a very infamous pirate. His name was El Pirata Cofresi. Go for C, the pirate. So there you go. It's a little bit of that cool story behind it, cool folk behind it. Okay, which is, so we are going to need something like a mason jar, okay? If you have a dark, better, but something in glass that you can storage uh, what we're going to be making. This particular mason jar, one of you guys asked me sometime, this particular mason jar is three cups, okay? We are going to need our beautiful donku. And again, if you do not have dark rum, you don't have to use dark rum. Another thing which is that I want to bring to your attention, don't be using the rum like a Captain Morgan that has spices. You want just regular rum. And also, which is, this is about 25 ounces rum, which is 70% 
isopropyl alcohol. Get a little bottle because you're gonna need it when you finish with your alcoholado. I got this bottle in Walmart, it's beautiful. If you wanna use a spray bottle, I really like it. The mist is really fine. So if you just wanna put it in your face or in your head or whatever, in your hands, or you wanna use it as a spritz, remember about your pets, you can use something like this. Otherwise you can just leave it in your mason jar after you strain it, okay? You're gonna do a strainer like this, particularly if you grind this really fine. This is a coffee filter. If you have the paper coffee filters, you can use that as well. They're probably gonna work better. Or you can also use cloth so you can strain it as well. Now I'm gonna show you again the ingredients. Make sure to take note, witches. All right, witches, are you ready to take notes? All right, let's do it. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the screen anyways. You're gonna need three cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna put them here. When it comes to the cloves, you are going to need three tablespoons. If they're not so finely grind, maybe you can put a little bit more, but these are very finely grind, so I put three tablespoons. The most important ingredient, which is you are going to add a quarter cup of all spice. Next, which is I have over here bay leaves. I have over here cardamom. Remember, you can also use the black seeds of cardamom. And I have over here eucalyptus. Each of this is one quarter cup. Can you smell it? Mm. I wish you could smell it. It's just so amazing. It just, just brings me so many memories, which is, okay. Now, which is, if you want to just add the eucalyptus essential oil, for this amount that we're making, we can add a pipette. Let me tell you, which is eucalyptus and camphor, just smelling that gives you such a well-being feeling. By smelling this, it releases more serotonin in your brain, so it gives you this goodness feeling, you know? I have motion sickness, really bad motion sickness, and whenever I'm sick, and I'm feeling ill. Smelling camphor and menthol makes me feel so much better. I have this. I cannot live without this. I cannot live without my Vicks. And I have Vicks over here because I'm gonna tell you something at the end of the, of the video. Uh, but this always makes me feel so much better. All right. Let's put this. Let's just finish with this. I am so excited that I'm sharing this with you guys. So good. I still have not added the camphor. We're gonna add the rum first. Mm, this, this is a very good rum, guys. So I haven't added camphor yet, but you can add four little tablets of camphor, either this one or the square ones. Uh, personally, I am going to put one pipette of camphor essential oil. And if you like the smell of eucalyptus, and if you wanna add eucalyptus after your alcoholado is ready, by all means. Like I said, which is the most important thing is that you have the Old Spice. Once you have the Old Spice, you can work with the scent of the other stuff your particular taste, okay? All right, which is, so here we go. We have our alcoholado in here. We are going to cover this alcoholado. I'm gonna shake it well. And we are going to leave it in a dark place for two weeks, which is shake it every day. And after two weeks, which is, you're going to strain it. I'm gonna show you mine that I did a couple of weeks ago. And this is my beautiful alcoholado. I call it White Raven Alcoholado Abuela. <laughs> White Raven Grandma's Alcoholado. And so I put it in this uh, bottle that I told you that I bought in uh, Walmart. And it smells so good. Mm. I love it, it smells amazing. My Alcoholado Abuela. I lost a lot of juice 
on the stuff that was left. So what I did was I took the stuff that was left and um, I'm drying it to see if I can make some type of incense with it. So that's what I'm gonna do with it. I hope that you like this recipe, which is I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that it helps you a lot. A lot of you guys ask me how to use this when you have migraines because many of you guys have really bad migraines. So did my grandma, so did my dad, and I do sometimes. So this is what I'm going to tell you and this is how my father used it, this is how my grandma used it, and this is how I use it. Buy a hanky. This is, I mean, it's entirely up to you if you want to do it that way, but whenever you going crazy over your migraine you know those times that you have to just lay down um we used to put Vicks vapor rub in your forehead okay and then you're going to soak your hanky with your acolado it's going to be a hanky just for that and you're going to reuse it just for that and what you're going to do you're going to soak your hanky and you're going to put it in your forehead like this Swear to you, how my grandma used to walk because, oh my God, I feel so bad. She used to have such bad migraines. So you're gonna have a hanky just like this. You can definitely lay down and, man, which is, I'm thinking of my grandma right now while I'm telling you these things. I can't actually see her. I can't actually see her with her hanky in her forehead. Because sometimes she just used to walk around with it because her migraines were so bad. Anyways, whenever the hanky gets dry, you can add more alcoholado. The thing is that the analgesic in the Malagueta will help you with the pain. And also, alcohol is very cool. And also, the menthol and the camphor in the Vicks Vapors will keep your forehead cool. So that will give you some type of relief to your headache. I can tell you also that this would even help you fall asleep when you have a little headache and you are trying just to disconnect and try to get that headache to, to tame that migraine, right? Because migraines are brutal. Um, in any case, I really hope that you love this recipe. Show me a picture of your acolado when you finish. If you have any questions, which is, this is all I know. I, I don't know what else to tell you. If you want to know more about the medicinal properties of all these herbs, please make sure to go online. You're going to have a lot of information on this. I really hope you love it. I hope you use it and it's well for you and it makes you feel fantastic. And it's shared to you with all my love. I hope you love it. That's it, which is uh, so many things that I want to share with you. There's going to be a lot of new things coming up in the website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. Thank you so much for all your support. Some of you guys, you know who you are, clean me out this week. Like, clean me out. I want to show you something that I'm extremely excited about it. Like, super excited, and I hope you're excited about it, too. I make my cascarilla bath bar, and this is it. My beautiful cascarilla bath bar. It smells absolutely amazing, which is, it has 100% cascarilla. It has 100% pumice, and it also has some vitamin E, just to keep your skin soft. And the smell is amazing. This is going to be a bath bar for you to scrub whenever you feel like you walk into a place, you came back home, it's like, I need to bathe because I feel like I pick up something in this place. This is it. Cascarilla is for protection and cleansing. And that is the whole purpose of this soap. This is not for you to like take a shower every day and this is gonna be your everyday soap. This is going to be a special bar for you to use like after doing some heavy magic for example, you're doing something really heavy. This is a good soap for you to bait yourself for cleansing and for protection. I am very excited. You're going to love the smell. I really wanted to share this with you. It's going to be live tonight in the website. I also want to show you this. I shared with you some pictures the other day I was making rose water. This is my rose water. I have a lot and it smells amazing. And I am doing some love sexy salts for any of you guys. And I'm using this rose water on it. That salt is also going to be live on the website this week. And I hope you love it as much as I do. It's really, it's essential scent, you know, it's sexy. It's just, it makes you feel like, mm, like, you know, really good. Last, something that I promised you I was going to share with you. I finished my rare green oil for the Marie Laveau Voodoo Grimoire. And this is my take on it. I haven't used it for any type of Spain. And the reason why I haven't used it, which is, is because I don't like the smell. 
Before I put this into cooking, the oil smell amazing. But unfortunately, when I was cooking this oil, even though I have the fire in my stove at the lowest, I didn't notice that the pot that I used was super overheating and I think I accidentally burned my ingredients. So it does not smell good. So what I'm trying to say with this, because I wanted to share this with you. I wanted just to send you some, like for free, not to sell. Just I want to share this, send, uh, share this with you. But I don't like how it smells, so I'm going to make it again. And I'm probably going to make less because I don't think I need to make this much. And uh, that's, I wanted to say that because I promised you I was going to tell you about it. So this is it. And that's it, which is, thank you so much for being here today. Remember to visit my website. Take a look at my Cascadilla bath bar and all the new stuff that I'm gonna be putting in there, whiteraven and witcheslayer.com. Let me know if you make your own alcoholado. Email me at layerofthewitch at yahoo.com and let me know. Leave me in the description and the comments. Leave me a comment and let me know if this is something that you already made. And if you wanna share your recipe with us, by all means, share your recipe with us. And if you have any experiences or any folk stories about your alcoholado, Please do not hesitate and share with us because I want to know the tea, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, which is, I love you. Stay very smart, but I will, will. You must stay so very wicked. Bye.